Rome wasn't built in a day. And the cottage at Pella Pedra is not going to be finished in a day either. Juno has the right idea on a hot morning. Just find a shady spot and lie down. Oh, we have another shady spot girl over here. Since I got back from South Africa, the end of May, I've been trying to forge ahead with these different jobs on myself. Occasionally I've had Nick come in to help um, and Andrea, but other than that, I'm just trying to plow through these chores myself. And it's amazing when you do it yourself, how much money you save when you are not forking out money for labor all the time. So luckily, I am not working online over the summer until the, well, online face-to-face -face, um, until the middle of August. So it means that basically I've had um, half of June and um, I'll have the whole of July to crack away at the different jobs that have to be done on the farm. Um, it's not all going to happen overnight, but I've made a good start on the pointing, as you'll see, um, this week. And in saving money on not paying for labor, I've been able to use that money and buy some game changer items, which you will see in this video. So Oreo wins the award for world's most stupid pig. So he breaks in here thinking, because I usually always feed these girls first, you can get food first. But so this morning I fed the other lot first because he had already broken in here. He was on the other side, but as soon as I go into the feed shed, he forces his way through that fence. But for the last two days that he's done it, I haven't let him eat any of the girl's food. And by the time I get him back into the other pen, they've almost finished the food. I mean, there's plenty of grass and stuff to eat in his paddock, so I'm not worried about it. But it's just like, he thinks he's being so clever to get in here first, to, to, to get first dabs at the food, and yeah, very slow learner. Now I'm gonna have to see which part of the fence, which stones he's moved again. Uh, he's actually not even trying to go and eat with the girls because he knows he's not allowed. So that part he's clever enough about. But now he's all sad because <laughs> he's not near any of the food. But that's his own doing. What a stupid pig. Okay, so he's managed to move that wire there. He's got through. He can't get through this part where I've put all these rocks. I need to put some bigger rocks over here. Uh, more rock lugging. Getting ready. All the things ready to start on my wall pointing today. Because I'm just doing small mounts for the pointing, I'm just going to be doing it with this um, um, mixer attachment to my drill in a little bucket because I'm doing small bits at a time. The cement mixer will be used when I'm doing the cordwood wall.
So this morning I have some packs of beef and I'm just going to uh, marinate and prepare uh, meat to be turned into biltong. If you're moving to Portugal, one thing you need to know is that you can't get the brown malt vinegar here. And this is not as great as the brown malt vinegar. Um, usually I make my own blend. But uh, when I bought a whole little bit of or spice, usually I make my own bit of or spice as well. But um, I just bought some ready-made blends when I was in South Africa. And I am going to use this Yachfeld Boltong blend. So what I'll be doing is I'll be cutting these the meat into strips. And then I'm going to sprinkle it with this blend. And then after that, sprinkle it with some vinegar. And it'll go into a plastic container and into the fridge overnight to marinate before it gets hung. If you're wanting to see a recipe on how to make biltong from scratch, if you don't have your own blend, um, I will give you uh, put that video on a card and um, also give you the link in the description below. Beautiful, beautiful warm day and I've just been to that lovely uh, water fountain spring in uh, Val de Preserge and uh, the water is nice and cold so I'm going to go and give, I've loaded into the trolley, going to go around and give the pigs some nice cold water on a hot sunny day. It is very important to keep the pigs well hydrated in the heat, the summer heat. No cinnamon bun that you're drinking water, you're just busy messing. Ah. It was all nice and clean and fresh. You've thrown half of it out. Poor apple pie can't even get any. Well, I've poured some water on her head. You're too big to fit in that. Oh my goodness, that was drinking water. But you've now got, you've filled your little wallow there anyway from this. Are you saying hello to Tandy? Hey? You wanting a scratch, Tim Tam? Tim Tam is a scratch. Cheesecake's getting a scratch. Tim Tam, scratch cheesecake. Oh my goodness. Two girls. Two of my girls. Okay, so I I realize that one has to choose one's battles, and there is no way I am going to be able to A afford and B have the time to build a veranda. But because summer is here and it's really hot, I ordered this gazebo online and look who rode in. To come and help, um, he's just flung the instructions on the ground. For, oh, instructions are for girls. He said instructions are for girls. How cheeky is that? <laughs> They're brilliant. No, I haven't seen it. Oh my goodness! How big is it? Three, three by three. Three by three. So these slide up the legs. Yeah. Yeah. And flip into these little things here. This is like so sturdy, this one. So if you're wanting a gazebo like this, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Yeah. That's a bit it's low. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now we put the cover on. Yeah. And then we jack it up. Oh! Yeah. Okay. And then the cover can stay on. Okay. And if you take it down, the cover goes down with it. Okay. This 
So Nick is trying to see if he can beat the Guinness Book of Records. <laughs> It's just so that I'll be able to actually sit outside in the... To go sit in the shade. Yeah. Yeah. Because the reviews are for this on Amazon, because I got it from Amazon Germany, but the reviews were excellent. Basically it, and then what you do, the legs have got a little pin on the bottom here. I'll show you when I get closer to you. And then those those bags, I'm supposed I would imagine I have full with sand. Is that what they were bags, is it? Yeah. Okay. They've made some improvements over the one that I've had. So look, if you look, there's a little button here. Yeah. You just press the little button in. And the leg comes down and clicks in and then this one just clicks in the, probably the bottom hole like so oh wow and so on this side this is incredible push in a little button yeah and then uh, make sure the switch is up in there Okay, brilliant. <laughs> and then it does have pegs that you can hammer it into the ground, but because we are on a granite slab underneath here, that ain't going to happen. You can also make it to a... Oh, over a there, easy. moving that as well. Yes, there you go. Oh, wow. The only problem is then you have to move these. Yeah. Oh dear. Do my top one. Yeah. Fantastic. So Nick is just creating a frame. Are we going to use the cement mixer for the first time to create a base? that the barbecue will go on. You see how he's got that special flourish with the tape? Flourish. Okay, so Maxine. Maxine. <laughs> <laughs> Maxine is gonna be used for the first time and uh, I've just filled a bucket of gravel. Nick has the watering can. And what goes in first? Water first. Always okay. water Always first. Always water first. Okay. Get your drum spinning. Yeah. And put it in like you know, a bucket of water. Yeah. Try and get it a little bit around here as well. Yeah. To help the cleaning. Stick in like barely a bucket of water. Yeah. I do two gravel and two sand, and one cement. Two gravel, two sand, one cement. Okay. So for you, Cindy, I'd recommend smaller buckets. It doesn't matter what, how big the buckets yeah. are, but you use the same measuring device like you would in cooking, yeah? Yeah. So I've got one gravel, one sand. Now it's time to put the cement in, yeah? Halfway through the mix. So, so wet mixer. One gravel, one sand, and then one cement. Yeah, and you need to measure. Right, Nick is throwing in the cement. You 
need a bit more water now. A bit more water. And that you just sort of gauge as you're doing it. Yeah. Okay. I'll get the other gravel and another sand. Okay. Taking all the gravel away from there, and they've got a nice hard granite bottom actually in the inside the shutter here. Yeah? So I set the mixture up over the top of it so we can literally just turn it over. Yeah. Hi. Cindy's got me a smaller level because my thing's too big. Oh my God, Nick. You can only do that much. Yeah. But. So Nick has been tamping this down and he's now going to take my little baby level. How long will this um, take to dry? I suppose in this heat, quite fast. I would, I would cover it up because it could dry too quick. Yeah. And it needs to cure a bit more slowly. Yeah. But cover it up, and in the morning it'll be dry. Okay. So I can just put a piece of plastic over it. Yeah. Well, looky here. Two of them have been delivered. They said the other two will come on Monday. Piggy swimming pools. So, I think they are low enough for the pigs to be able to step into them and uh, keep babies out. The other two will be arriving on Monday. They're a little bit smaller than these ones. So I've got to think who I'm going to give these to at the moment. It's much bigger than the other one. I don't know how long it'll last for, but they weren't very expensive at all. Um, apple pie is right inside it. Uh, hmm. Oh my goodness, she's trying to knock her out. Cinnamon bun is trying to knock her out of it so that she can climb in it. But I've only put a very little bit of water in just to see. Apple pie could climb in and out. Cinnamon bun, I think, is now going to head in. But I will fill this up here. Cinnamon, oh, we slip. It's slippery. <laughs> it's slippery. Once you're in it, you slip. But I think once they get a little bit of mud in it, they won't slip around as much. But I think they will again to enjoy lying in these. Oops! Tipping it over. But I think when it's filled with water and they've got some mud in the bottom, it won't be as slippery. But at the moment, yes, you're enjoying this, hey? Now we have two pigs trying to get in at the same time. I don't know if this is going to work. They might get jammed and stuck. Oh my goodness, Cinnamon Bun, you are hogging it. You are hogging it. Cinnamon Bun won't let apple pie in there. Tim Tam's having a little morning cool off in her wallow. Cheesecake has just come to say hello. Hey, Cheesecake. 
She was also sitting in the wallow, the two of them. Yes. What are you saying? Hello. Candy's in her swimming pool. Would you say these pools are a success? No space for you as well, Maggie. It looks like I'm going to have to... Um... Oh, don't sneeze on my leg. It looks like I'm going to have to get you eat your own pool. No, sis! I'm going to have to get you... Every, each pig's going to have to have their own pool. I can see it. <laughs> because it's a perfect size. And she's sitting in there like a queen. Poor Maggie doesn't get a look in. <laughs> so as you can see, Oreo thinks he is absolutely hilarious. So I barricaded this up yesterday. Nothing, well, the day before, nothing was going to get through this. And uh, in fact, yesterday he didn't. So this morning he decided to play silly buggers again and uh, managed to knock over all my stones. There you can see these stones lying everywhere. And um, lift up the fence to get here. But the thing is when he gets here, he doesn't even try and eat the girl's food because he knows I'm not going to let him. So he gets in here laughs at me and then runs straight back and then gets from underneath it again to go back there but the good thing is that they have by the time he gets back they've already eaten all the treats that were put in their uh, feed bucket so he's just getting the grain he's missing out on the treats for every action there's a consequence so now i'm going to see how i can bush mechanic this yet again Cindy versus Oreo part 10. Not sure how this is going to work, but I'm going to try move the rocks. I'm on the Oreo side of the fence now. Like move some of these rocks, see if I can somehow other wedge this pallet here. Um, because that area seems to be sorted. It's this part next to this post that he keeps just pushing out of the ground. <sighs> What's it matter Puff, you've come to check out my work. Okay, so this is today's barricade. We will see if this can work. Fingers crossed. Okay, so this is the barricaded fence now from the girl's side. I'll just have to keep bringing in rocks. <laughs> but hopefully this will stop him. Apple pie is grinning because she got in first today and beat Cinnamon Bun. Who's not impressed? <laughs> Apple pie is in her pool. Yes. They love it. They love it. I'm going to go and I'm definitely ordering more of these. Because um, they just climb in and sit inside it. And cools them off nicely. Just a pity you can't fit more than two in a pool, but it's okay. Yeah, cinnamon bun's going to try and push her out. So I've started the pointing and I have um, brushed it off with a wet paintbrush. I think it's not looking too bad. You know, when I was a child, um, an ex-stepfather used to make me go out into the hot sun and fill buckets of stones. 
And he said it was because I was a bad person and I would end up going to jail one day. And when you're in jail, you break stones. So he wanted me to get used to working with stones. I realize now I just had to pick up the stones so that the stones didn't um, shoot up when he was mowing the lawn. But anyway, regardless, I'm now sitting looking at this bucket of stones that I've got here and thinking about him and the buckets of stones. But anyway, the reason why I now have this bucket of stones here is because in some of the places in this wall, the gaps are a bit big to just fill in with the lime water. So I am going to try and use some of these stones in some of these holes just to make it a little bit easier. But I'm quite pleased with what I have done so far. This fly trap has only been up one week and I think I need to change it and put another one up. Flies are incredible. I've done a lot of pointing on this wall the last two days. It's getting quite hot now. I'm, yeah, going to get ready for my rugby game that's coming up. But I'm very pleased with how it's looking, this pointing, I think. This lot, you can see, was done yesterday. It's nice and dry now. And today's lot is still wet. So performing one's morning business on the composting toilet as one does. When I finished, I reached into the bag that has the shavings in to sprinkle on top of my deposit. And to my horror, a mouse jumped up and ran across my hand. Well, I nearly made another deposit. I got such a fright. So, next game changer. <laughs> I have bought a bin with a lid that I'm going to put the sawdust in so that the mice can't get into it and give me a fright when I use it. Okay, right. Let's put the lid on. Hopefully no more mice in the sawdust. Well, it's another crackingly hot day, which is to be expected this time of year in central Portugal. But I have to say that inside the cottage is several degrees cooler than it is outside. So as you can see another busy few days trying to get a lot done. Have got a lot of game changes here this week and in the meantime keep safe, keep sane and I'll see you in the next video.